In a big family, you have to know how to scrap. Here they come. Ready. Fire. I'd welcome you to Whisper Grove, but it's little more than a city of ash at the moment. Please. I don't have time to take care of visitors. My husband, Fingalian, here has been injured, and I have an army of Daedra to deal with. Followers of Mehrun's Dagon have set fire to our city. They've opened an Oblivion Gate, and we can barely keep the incoming Daedra contained. Perhaps our home is lost, but we have to do something about that gate. Or this entire forest is doomed. That is... generous of you. We're being attacked on three fronts, and I need my archers here just to keep the Daedra from breaking through. If you could stop them from pushing the north and south fronts, we might have a chance. I can't tell if you're crazy or daft, but you have my thanks. If you can stop the Daedra at the other fronts, we should be able to hold here. I won't blame you if you fail or flee, we're prepared to defend our homes either way. My name is Gilren. I took over as the headmer of Whisper Grove since our former leader abandoned us. Perhaps a story for another time. If you're going to help, you better get to it. Our barrier won't hold forever. I can dispense with an archer or two, but I need this central point defended. You could ask Lanevol, our healer, or Elolia, one of our longbowmen, for help. She was Whisper Grove's local healer before the attack. Take her if you need someone to look after your wounds, but bring her back safe. If the city survives this, she'll be vital to our restoration efforts. He's brash, but an excellent shot. If you want someone to drop those Daedra from afar, you should ask Elolia to accompany you. They're invading from just beyond this barrier. Came through an oblivion gate that these Dagon cultists opened. Despite the Green Pact, I ordered the barricade up ahead to be built. We found plenty of dead wood after our enemy's first attack. Help me. Please. I overheard your conversation with Gilrain. I'd love to help you tear those Daedra apart. I am most certainly. You'll be the one doing all the tearing. I just meant I'd patch you up when they tear you back. You've got to keep moving.
It'll take more than this to kill me. There's one more front to deal with. You face the Daedra with an ease I've never encountered. Have you fought them before? There's one more front to deal with.
By the Green Pact, they're a tenacious lot. The Daedra on the other fronts would have closed on us in that last attack if it weren't for you. That's my husband, Venganian. He was hurt in the Daedra's first attack, but Laneville got to him in time. He'll live. I'm almost glad. If he were awake, he'd be screaming his head off. He has his uses, but he's stubborn, thick-headed, and a coward. If it were up to him, and I am quick to remind him it is not, he'd leave the Oblivion Gate where it is and flee. What would you have us do? Escape and crawl to the Dominion for help? This community exists because we believe in the self-reliance of the Bosma. No. We stay and we clean up this mess we've created. By the Green Pact, they're a tenacious lot. The Daedra on the other fronts would have closed on us in that last attack if it weren't for you. It's up ahead, in the heart of our grove, defended by the leader of the Dagon cell we've been battling. He's called Razor Master Earthus. Do not hesitate to kill him. Earthus will grant you no mercy. That Oblivion Gate must be closed before something worse comes through. I was reluctant to ask you for help before, but I'm glad you followed through. He was one of us. Earthus was our leader when this community came together. During the formation of the Old Mary Dominion. He voiced the dangers the rest of us saw in allying with the Old Mary and the Khajiiti, and convinced us to reject the Dominion. We built this city at his behest, and attracted some of the brightest Bosma to live here. We had no idea what was coming. He seemed a decent elf and lived that way for many years, until he put that elf aside and revealed the Razor Master beneath. Who can say for sure when it comes to the servants of Daedric Princes? Wanton destruction comes to mind. Look at what he's done to all that he helped build. He had us leave our people, and now he wants to burn us alive. used to fight this much, until I met you. You will go no further! For Lord Dagon! Wonderful rug for the master. Surrender and I'll devour you quickly. I really don't like your odds. Rise, minion.
Guardians. Stop them before it's too late. I thought I would be more satisfied at his death. I guess it won't bring back those he's killed. I didn't think we'd survive this day. Many have died, but some live. Thank you for fighting on our behalf. In time, our city will recover. Perhaps we'll parley with the Dominion and return to our people. But for now, we'll have our hands full trying to close this damned Oblivion Gate. <laughs> I'm beside myself. You truly believe you've won. I didn't expect our little friends there could kill Earthers, but I stand corrected. All this trouble because of one was merry woman. You are Gilray of the Whisper Grove, are you not? My runes, Dagon? It was you who rallied this peasant village to contend with me. Fascinating that a mortal could be so troublesome. I need a replacement for your Earthers. Come, meet with me and I will close this gate. Spare your people. I think... I think I have little choice. Tell the others to get as far away from here as they can. Spread out and search for her. My wife! Where, where is my wife? Where is Gilrain? She... she left me? She always did put the needs of the community above her family. I suppose I have to respect her wishes. And she'll have to respect that I'll tear down the fabric of reality to get her back. Our home here won't last, not with the damage that's been done. Gilrain would want me to get everyone to safety. I'll return them to the Dominion. Maybe they can help me get my wife back. Think I saw a copy of Unoblivion at home. <laughs> 